first, it's Ryan King Rye Garcia, one of the most famous boxers. The this bout is scheduled for 15 rounds of boxing. And this one has all of those big fight feels you want from a prize fight. Here we go. So all I can say, heaven on earth, heaven on earth. Protect yourself at all times. And there's the bell to start round one. That left shot lands. They are not going to let this one go to the judges. We'd like to see this fighter protect themselves a little better. All the talking has been done. It's time to start doing the walking. Todd, listen to them. Listen to them. You can... You can hear the noise, but you don't know what they're saying. It's that loud. I'm sorry, man. I'm shouting you here. I'm sorry. One of the hottest tickets around. It's standing room only for this, our main event. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. So that left lands. That left counter was perfectly timed. He threw the hook, didn't land. Good counter punching from both these fighters. Nice punch. They exchange punches. Fantastic punch. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. And a round that seemed like eternity for them finally comes to a close. Wow. What do we expect to see here in round two? Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get sucked in. Make him fight. Your fight. Hold him. Tie him up. Just until your head clears again. And your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Nice job landing that left counter punch. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. Counter punchers, my favorite kind of fighter. A good counter puncher, they're the people that make the history of our sport. Good counter right hand again. This is not good strategy. Those punches are doing nothing. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. He just misses with that big right hand. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so i got to respect both of them more than I do. Halfway through the round and there's not a lot separating these two. Good one. And he just misses with that jab. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Nice counter. As bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no doubt who won that round. Dominance with and There's the bell to start round three. Now there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. A 
A counterfighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. To beat a counter puncher, you've got to take them out of their pace. Do not wait for them, because if you wait, they'll pepper and pop you all night long. Rush them. He just gets out of the way of that right uppercut. Do you believe this? Johnny, I love watching these lighter fighters just based on the hand speed and the foot movement. So impressive to watch. This is what you're going to get. You're going to get speed, good footwork. You're going to get punches thrown from head to body. You can get a lot of toe to toe. When you've got fighters at these weight division, they'll stand there. They don't think they need a ring. They need a phone box. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. This has been a very competitive round between these two. Do you believe this? Catch and shoot. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Nice offensive display landing that left counter. What would you tell this guy? He's got to do something different. Wow, it was like two. On to the fourth we go. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs are gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. No stamina, no injury, but still throwing punches. You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the chin, take the mind off protecting everything around that. Work the body, use tactics. Sometimes it's so hard to actually outbox a fight and beat them on points. Great counter right hand there. So much for boxing. This is a fist fight. One moment changes everything, especially in this division. A perfect counter shot. And he fails to score with that left hook. Still swinging with nothing left. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Well, he is in big trouble here. He may have been saved by the bell. There's the bell to start round five. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until the senses have come back. This fighter's certainly not going to out-throw their opponent by any means, but they will, when they hit, be a lot harder. It's the one who draws first blood, Todd. That's what you've got to look at. If you hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. Quick punch scores.
Right punch. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. He got out of the way of that right hook. You hear people talk about a boxer's chin. Do they have a good chin? Do they have a glass jaw? Those are questions that are being answered here tonight. This is when you get in the ring feeling like you're King Kong because you know you've got a chin that is not going to get dented. That left scores. Obvious this fighter is gassed out. Why sit in there and throw punches? This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. They've got the momentum. They've got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? Let's start the six. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Endurance is becoming a factor. You can see this fighter having a hard time getting out of the way of the punches, and they're not throwing as many on their own. Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about want. You've seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? Got out of the way of that right hook. No rest for the weary. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. So far, it seems like aggression has been the key. This fighter just not slowing down. Sometimes when you have a fight, the best way to beat a fight is not give them what they want. Because they want to get you there. They want you to stand there toe-to-toe -to -toe with them and have a tail. That's what they do in the gym every single day of the week. What you've got to do is you've got to frustrate them as they set their shots. Get out of the way. And they'll get so angry, so frustrated because they can't work. There's a counter shot. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Good counter punch. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage here. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as the fighter. And the corner man's got to put a firecracker on that fighter. Get out there and get the job done. I'm telling you, he's gone. Jump on each other and then let your shots go. Don't let him get back into this fight. Come on, Ian Ed. Be smart. Change your angle. Go out there. Here comes round seven. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. On her right. Just when you think they're going to have a lull in the action, we get it heated back up. Bombs away! Good counter punching for both these athletes. Good punch. Nice counter shot. Beautiful counter punch. There's no doubt that this fighter's power can change the fight around in an instant. You can't afford to make one single minor mistake. You've got to be courageous when you get in there with someone that's bigger, stronger, and faster. You've just got to use brain then. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Just like a match made in heaven. Missing with the hook. 
Swing and a miss with the hook. Coming back to life now, starting to land some punches. Do you believe this? Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Robinson got buzzed there. He's in trouble. Oh, I heard that never by saw it. Maybe pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. Nice round. Good round. I like that. I'm happy. Good There's the bell to start round eight. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. When we talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That can be the real difference. I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. Still waiting for this fighter to show some defensive ability. Nice job landing with that right hand counter. Oh, what a punch! Nice shot with the left. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. You've seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have more endurance? Now you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through willpower? Calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. He gets out of the way of that left hand. Sugar. Robinson goes to the canvas. He's been yeah, knocked down, but at least not knocked out yet. Good You're being man. put down. Good man. Just the There's the bell to start round nine. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not gonna happen. He's got a hustle now. He's got a he's got a bluff him. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. Left punch. Robinson hit hard and he may be ready to go. As he weathered the storm, didn't wait long to get back in and get engaged. One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? What can they change? They can change their attitude. They can change their, their nervous system to a certain amount of punches per round. Because otherwise, if they deviate from the game plan, they're going to be shattered once again and the fight will be over. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Perfectly matched, skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you, and so I've got to respect both of them, more than happy. 
Catch and shoot with the left counter. Good job. There's a right hand. This fight has a real good clutch. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Well, he is glad to have heard that bell. The bell, sometimes it could be the sweetest. And here comes the 10th round. Safe to say that last round was a nightmare. Let's see if we can turn it around here. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight. Your fight. Hold him. Tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. This fighter has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws, and that's a very confident spot to be in. Don't get trigger happy, because all of a sudden you're going to be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot, and that's when they catch you. Trying to answer back. Just when you think they're gonna have a lull in the action, we get it heated back up. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. A beautiful counter shot. Coming back to life now, starting to land some punches. Oh, and they just got their bell rung. That left counter punch will score. Left punch, lands with the right counter. This round could go either way, 10 seconds to go. I promise you, all three judges here are going to give that round to you know who. Dominance, without a doubt, made it look so so. That's start 11. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Sugar Ray Robinson. I don't believe it. One of the all time greats, Robinson, goes down. So they'll make it up, and this fight continues. Good counter left hand there. This is some of the best action I've seen. Not many people would have predicted it, but we've got a knockout victory. What a build-up. What a journey towards this fight. What a fight itself. The crowd enjoyed it. The fighters enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed it. And what a way to end the fight. There's no mistake there about who won. What a shot.